The Glasgow St Enoch Centre got a little bit more than they bargained for today. A front row view of Ricky Burns' final preparations ahead of Saturday's box office contest. Well, as you can see, Ricky Burns is flexing his muscles in front of a fair crowd here. But in five days' time, that will increase to 10,000 at a packed SECC. But just how much is resting on this latest title defence? Every fight is a, a defining career moment. But this is, you know, after everything he's been through in the last two or three fights, to go and beat Crawford, who is widely regarded as one of, if not the best lightweight in the world, would be a tremendous achievement, certainly the finest of his career. <laughs> Strong words then from his promoter, and many chins have been wagging about his chances this weekend. The way everybody's been talking, I've been made out to be the underdog for this fight, and I know going on the last couple of fights, there is a lot of pressure on me here. Um, but again, I'm just putting that to the back of my mind. Um, as I said, training and that's went well, so I'm just hoping to go there and put on a good performance because I'm due one. <laughs> Two years ago, Burns outboxed Namibian Paulus Moses for a straightforward win. A few months later, he floored English opponent Kevin Mitchell in another victory. But last May, an uneasy showing against Jose Gonzalez was stopped when the Puerto Rican retired hurt. And in September, Mexican Raimundo Beltran broke Burns' jaw, but the fight controversially ended in a draw. The undefeated Terence Crawford has won 15 of his fights by knockout, but Ricky Burns' fans are confident their man will make it a fifth defence. Without a shadow of a doubt, I definitely it's his first time at America, he's going he's gonna, to uh, find a hard fight with Ricky Burns. He's been training hard, so yeah, I think he'll do really well. He'll have to if he wants to keep this.